Hello and Asalaamu As Alaikum. Welcome back to Ali Raja Bagan 2020 Part 23. I am your host Akib Allah. I am Ali Raja. Asalaamu As Alaikum. In this video, we will be showing you how to grow chilies all year round. Now, as you know, the British weather is very unpredictable. We hardly get enough sun to grow chilies. In this video, we'll show you how we intend to grow chili all year round indoors under a grow light. Now, two weeks ago, we've been approached by Spider Farmer. They are the makers of grow light. Now, they wanted us to test and review one of their products, and we agreed. So they sent us the SF2000 full spectrum dimmable grow light. Now, we're not getting paid to review or test this product. Therefore, we will give you our un unbiased, honest review of the product. Now, over the next few months, we intend to make few videos to show you how we're getting on with the product. Today, we'll be unboxing, setting up, and start growing chilies under the grow light. And as always, we will give you an update of our vegetable garden. So don't skip watch the video till the end and please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload without further ado dad let's start unboxing let's start growing chilies so this package was sent to us by spider farmer a few days ago and uh, I'm very excited Akhir. Same, I'm really excited. It's the first company that has approached us and I'm really excited to review this product. The product. Hopefully there will be many, many more companies will approach us to review and test the product. So let's get on with it. Dad, so we're going to be using a Stanley knife to shred through the cellar tape. Now let's just simply pull this out. Okay. Now let's remove the box. Now let's ch check out the baby. Oh, it's quite simple. Wow! Look. Oh, it's quite simply uh, tucked in. Tucked in. It's neatly tucked in. Let's see what's in the box. Uh, let's see what's in here. So I guess this is um, hanging cables. It hanging looks like. cables and some hanging clips to go with the successful clips. And some hanging wires. Hanging wires. Okay, and this is the power cable. Power cord. Power cord, and I think this is the dimmable uh, uh, light. This, no, that's, is, that's, this, this is this is where you dim the light. That's where you dim the light. Yes. You just twist it to dim the light. Okay, now let's put this to your side. And, and you can also turn off and on on where the dimmable light is. Over and here. you get a manual manual book to go with it. Okay, let's turn this around and let's see what it looks like. I'll hold it from the side. Oh wow. Oh wow, there's so many LED lights. This is the Spider Farmer grow light. So, this is a Spider Farmer SF2000 LED dimmable full spectrum grow light. It's quite nice and simple, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it would be heavy. It's not heavy, that heavy. It's is not. It? It's really light. Uh, the size. Let's hold this back here. Let me see what size is this. Okay. So that's about ten and a half inch by. 26 inch so it's quite it's not that big yeah and it's supposed to cover two by four feet square area now let's go and set this, set this up. up there are four holes in each corner i'm guessing we have to clip the hanging clips onto the holes clip the hanging clips onto the holes just like this do all the clips onto the four holes in each corner. This is the hanging wire. We have to clip each end of the hanging wire onto the hanging clip. The hanging wire should be clipped onto the hanging clip. Just like this. Clip it onto there. And do the next one. 
Okay, now it's time to hang this in our grow room. This is my dad's bedroom. On my right, there's a small walk-in closet which we have turned into a grow room. Come and take a look at this. Normally you would hang the LED grow light on the ceiling but my mum will go mad if she finds out that we're drilling holes in the walk-in closet. So me and my dad came up with a brilliant idea. This is a clothes rail. I really like this clothes rail because it's adjustable. You can adjust the height. We bought this clothes rail from Argos for £15 and we're going to hang our LED grow light on this clothes rail so we don't have to make any holes on the ceiling. This is the adjustable um, hanging rope. We're going to use, there's two of them came with it, so we're going to put this on each end onto the hanging wire and we're going to hang the SF2000 grow light onto the uh, clothes rail. Let's clip this in. Okay, that's one side, and let's clip the other side. So, we, we got the SF2000 um, hanged onto our clothes rail. Uh, we simply tied a uh, string onto the rushes here uh, to hang the uh, SF2000 grow light so this is too low we're going to raise the grow light uh, so that it's about two feet above the plants so this is quite simple so i'm going to raise this about about here and then put the lock on to the side Now let's test the SF2000 full spectrum grow light and let's see what this can do, how bright it can get. All we need to do, put the plug into the socket. Now I'm using a, a timer. This is a timer that I bought from Amazon. It cost me about six pound. Basically, we're going to have the lights, lights, the, the grow light on for about 18 hours and we're going to, so automatically turns off the light uh, every 18 hours uh, uh, so that the plant gets enough rest during that six hours. Ash Whoa. Whoa, wow, this is bright. Yeah, that's really powerful, Dad. This is very bright. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see this on the camera, but this is very uh, bright. I need my sunglasses. Yes, I need my sunglasses. This All right, so we have some chili plants under this grow light. These are some naga chili plant and some purple uh, Some purple uh, uh, green chili and some hydrophonic. I'm actually using a hydrophonic method for some of the chili plant here. And let's see how well this, this, this does on, under the grow light compared to uh, the plants I'm growing outside. Wow guys, look at this beauty. It looks beautiful. I think the light intensity might be too high, Akib. We need to uh, dim the light down so the intensity is lower. Um, there is a dimmer switch provided here on the top. Uh, read out, um, what's the number on there? It goes up to 20 to 100. I think let's take it down to 60. Okay, Dad. Oh, that's a much better. I think that looks much better now. Yeah, before it was way too bright. I don't want to use the maximum light just yet, just in case, in case it damages the plant, because we haven't used this uh, product before. In fact, it's the first time we're using grow light. And um, it'll be interesting to see how they do under a grow light compared to outside. But the purpose of this is to grow uh, chilies or other vegetables during winter months. Winter. In October month, chili plants are, start, are starting to die off. This is when we will start growing chilies in this room. 
this is the first time we are growing a um, chili plant or any plant uh, for that matter under a LED grow light. So this SF2000 Spider Farmers um, grow light, we will give you a full review and we will keep you an update every few weeks time uh, to show the progress of this plant and to show the comparison between these plants and the plants we are growing outside in the garden. If you are interested in buying Spider Farmers SF2000 LED full spectrum grow light, we will leave the link in the description down below. We will also leave you a, um, a coupon code. If you, if you use the coupon code to purchase this uh, SF2000 grow light, you will get a discount on it. So if you use the coupon, you will get a discount. We, do, we don't make any money out of this. Uh, this is just, just for our subscribers. Uh, you, you, you get a discount if you use that uh, um, coupon code. It's time to give you a quick update on our vegetable garden. Finally, we're getting good weather and plenty of bangalows. And we're also getting lots of nagamoros from our plants. We have grown a few different varieties of banglalau this year. This is, this is a round shaped banglalau and we harvested two of them a few days ago and they tasted delicious. Finally we are getting plenty of naga chilies on our naga chili plants. They look amazing. Look at the size of these beauties. I've eaten a naga chili yesterday and uh, it wasn't that hot because uh, we, we're not getting enough sun. Uh, if you want hot chilies, you have to have plenty of sun. Chili plants need sun more than plant food. All our chili plants are doing mashallah really well. Um, so these are so, This is the plant that we have overwintered from last year. And mashallah, it has done amazing. And these are the new plants. We've got plenty of naga chili. Dad, look at the size of this naga. Uh, this is uh, this is our sility naga, and this is extremely hot. Plants are from this year, and they're doing really well. Look you at th look at these plants. Look at these chilies. Wow. This this thing really good. So we hope to grow chilies all year round. I really hope you are sharing my videos. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. Stay safe, Asnamu Alaikum, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. We're getting uh, quite a few mishtilau this year. Uh, we harvested one a few days ago, and that tasted really nice. If you enjoy watching our video, uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave us comments. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to leave a comment, and we'll try to answer your question. Happy gardening, assalamu alaikum and have a fantastic Eid. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.